Good morning there, Chatty Chatters. Welcome back to the Big O Stream. Good to see you all here for more Pacific Drive. Let's get driving. One's in the chat. Chat where you at? One in the chat if you're watching live. What's up, Brant? Scooter Show. Good to see you. Hello, buddy. Good morning. Let's get locked in for some more Pacific Drive. There we go. Ooh. All right. Getting locked in here. There we go. Cool. Welcome back. Oh boy, we're in the midsection wall. It's it's a tough time. But now, what do we got to do? We got to go up the right section. Oh, boy. And we got to get the car all fixed up. Oh, boy. Oh, I have axe. When did you last see a bird? Are we sure it's birds making the bird noises? Exactly. I keep hearing birds, but seeing no birds. And the sus. Things being annoying. Ooh. Rear tire smashed. Bald tire. Does it actually look bald? Not really. Maybe in some spot it is. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright. Yeah. Let's just do a whole new reset of tires. We're going to start fresh with all new tires. Got a lot of work to do today before we get into the other zone. My chest is indeed see-through, correct? Yeah, I'm wearing yellow. It's just one of those days. I feel hollow. <laughs> Best road trip soundtrack? I don't know, I guess it depends on where you're going. That determines half the soundtrack right there. Did we offload? Nope. Yeah, all right. Let's do that too. I'll leave that. Oh boy. So much stuff. Uh, mostly paint now. And yeah, we can break the gear down. Chat. Did you hear? The Disney castle burnt down? For real? Cinderella's castle? Go check. I tried to look for images and stuff myself, but I, I see the news, but I don't see images to confirm.
Lord of Cali. I think it said Disney Disneyland. Sons of the Forest later. We might. We might. I'm just going to put these in here until we get more storage. Yeah, we're going on a Sunday drive today. Exactly. Alright, let's take these. We'll bring them over here. Let's see. All right, we'll try to stack all this. Almost done. Yeah, I'm in the game now. They put me in the game. You see? You can see right through me. Okay. Images are up. They definitely lost that battle. It references Reedy Creek Fire Department, which would be Florida. A uh, whole castle completely in involved in fire. An act of war on the kingdom. Can you believe that? Uh, this is an open world survival crafting roguelike game. We're getting our car fixed up to go on another run. Start using this storage too. Just the way it is. You love this game, me too. Go to the dumpster, friend. Oh boy. Alright, let's trash some stuff. You were watching another streamer right while well, waiting for me in a drop pod right in front of their car? Oh, really? That's lucky. We've almost had that happen a few times. Huh. 
Okay, let's get things in the car. Put on some tunes, y'all. Sunglasses just for fun. One more. Man, we might need those puncture proofs. Might need those puncture proofs. Can't even turn the volume down. That's got to be patched. Break some stuff down. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, game's really good. Lots of replayability. And a really great price, too. Oh, what is that? Decal kit mural. Oh. That must relate to the story. Flares in here.
Okay. And we could break all that down, but I think we got enough stuff. We got enough stuff. Yo, Valnor, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the support. Hmm. All right, let's start fresh. I think that's done for the basic offload and stuff. Let's put oh, put stuff away still. Then we'll save. We'll start modifying the car. I'm transparent. That's right. I like games that you play or played over again to get different uh, results. Oh, this type of game. Oh yeah, yeah. That's exactly what you get with a roguelike. I like Darkest Dungeon, and I'll also like Tarkov or something in a way with the, you know, random loot all over. Maybe some things are the same. now with the car. Alright, what do we got for points to spend? We got some big points. Wow, 7.5 and 8. That's crazy. Oh, right. And we got to go to the Red Meadow Research Facility today. Big. Is this Cat Jam? I think this is our Cat Jam right here. Now, Chad, here's the problem. Um, we might have to get some different paneling. Do we want not insulated, but lined, I think it's called? Make sure we save again before I unlock anything. 
Just in case it sucks. What's up, Dean Rockaway? Okay, let's do... Lead-lined panels. That's what it is. Lead-lined door. No oh, bumper. We'll do that. Yeah. Lead plated door. We'll see how these work. Won't that make our car heavy? It sure will, but I don't think weight affects the car. We also might want to get that uh, extendo roof storage and put new stuff on the side to charge our battery. We're going through a, a new car rebuild. We gotta change up our tactics a little bit today. Gonna try to go for more radioactive protection today. The station wagon again, it's already pretty heavy, true. True. Can we put these in storage? As long as they're not broken. Uh, needs sealant. Yep. Yeah, that one we gotta gotta scrap this one. You think we may lose lose speed of the car? It could be right. Interesting. The seal. I didn't realize the ceiling kit also uh, repaired. Huh. Upgrade the engine to neg negate that. Raptor didn't do it yesterday. The engine upgrade. We got an upgraded engine. Needs a little repair. We either upgraded our engine yesterday or the day before. I can't remember. That's gotta go. Does Bondo repair the engine? Yes, but it won't repair the issue with the... Um, whatever the electrician kit's needed for. Let's get that repaired. I think we already have one in storage, but it's okay. It's fine. Alright, so that's the only thing in good shape. We could get that other storage for the uh, parts. It's a cold one. Takes 0.7 energy for a part locker. Might be a good idea. We're, we might be switching between different armor types now. We need a circuit board though. Ooh, we can get the large backpack. Let's go. Oh, that's a must. Yeah, we're getting that first and foremost. 
Extendo. Cool, we got the big O backpack now. Extendo. Loot Goblin Hype, yep. Okay, we needed a circuit board. Make one of those. lay of the land for everything in the future. Power grip tires, wow. I didn't even see those. Trunk in the trunk. At insult to injury 250 years after winning their independence, Americans nationwide are enjoying bigger trunks than ever before. The trunk of an American car can easily fit six British vehicles. Hell yeah, brother. I appreciate the comedy, but th like this doesn't say what the hell that does. Like, does does it the double octuple? Does it add two storage? Like, it, I feel like the comedy's good, but give me actual usable info. We can also get XL roof storage too. I think we're going for storage though, for sure. But we're gonna go for the. Uh, Part locker. Now, where does that go? Oh, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a pretty big O upgrade. Wow. Wait, don't tell me that each of those is a different... Couldn't be. <gasps> oh, the, wow, okay. That's a lot of space. Our equipment full. Okay, so it has to be actual parts of the car, so tires and things like that. Where'd that tire go? So we could put these in there, I think. Dude, there's so much storage. Yes, dude. What? Oh, come on, man. Bro, there's all this wasted space. You just put one part per locker? Mm, come on, man. Ugh. Well, at least they're generous. What do we have? Two, four, six. Buy two, so we got 12 spots, plus we got four lockers we can buy. Can I name the lockers? I don't think so. No. Oh, you just look at it and it'll tell you what's inside. Insulated door, side fuel tank, lightning rod. Okay. It auto-labels them. That's cool, I guess. Alright, where's that tire? Next one over.
All right, let's keep ripping things off. fabricate that one. Well, then again, I think we should seal it, yeah. Unless it's unfixable. Oh, you bet we're going to make new bumpers. Well, actually only one. We're going to leave one that limb bumper because it acts as a taser. Gets those damn bunnies off us. Yay. Yeah, and the light turns green when you put something in there. So it's helpful. It, It's like, eh, okay. All right. It's got rules. That's fine. All right, we got to get the uh, trunk upgraded. So these we can repair. There's a machine we have to repair these things, so... But worst case scenario, we come back, we can use Bondo. Locker space is disappearing quick. We could keep the headlights, I suppose. They got a little bit more armor. Raph, did you know that ghosts can haunt any part of a house except for the living room? They're not allowed in there. Okay, well, we, we learned something big today. Thank you very much, dude. Wow. Can you put multiple types of the same item in the same room? Or door? Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, let's see. Oh, a uh, panel. Well, here's two insulated doors. I'm going to think the answer is probably no. Well, actually, no. These two couldn't fit. Uh, I can't test that at the moment. Good idea, though. We'll give that a try. All right, we'll keep our headlights. You know what we really need? Extendo fuel tank. Fuel was such a problem last time. It wasn't that bad. But we need it. Oh, that doubles. That doubles the capacity. Yeah. We should probably do that. Fuel synthesizer. Impressive combination of limb chemistry and advanced filtration. Battery-powered device. Electric... Uh, effectively creates gasoline from various environmental substances, passively absorbs in the zone. Be sure to siphon it regularly. Oh. So that would sit on the outside of the car and convert battery power to fuel. The only thing that really would... We can find the fuel pretty much everywhere. Like in car wrecks left and right, but it takes time to go over to a car and pump the car. Well, we should definitely do the extendo tank, right? I think we should definitely do the extendo tank. Have I gotten the bigger jerry can yet? Yeah, it's required for... Yeah, I have the large fuel can. But what I realized is that the large fuel can, when I first bought it, I thought it was an upgrade for this can, but it's not. It's like a separate can, I think, that you can craft and bring along with you. Let's actually fuel this up before I forget. Unless they change that for the full game. Alright, um, well, let's do that trunk in the trunk and see what that looks like. Hell yeah, brother.
So wait. Before we put that in there. That's what it looks like now. And the upgrade. Ho oh, ho! Literally is a trunk in the trunk. Oh, this is nice. It removes all the um, the damn lines of the boxes. Beautiful. And probably adds a little bit more space. Beautiful. Hell yeah, brother. True freedom. Alright, that's good. That was a good upgrade. So I think the boxes on the side of the car might go bye-bye. That one's broken anyway. When I get to the uh, office, the first thing I do is hide. A good worker is hard to find. Right. Pro level hide and seek. Did this have all my stuff in it? Okay, so we'll keep that. Alright, so these two gotta go. I do you like the idea of something being so worn out you have to make another one? It just feels real. Um, this has to be in my inventory. Um, is there not a way to do that? Maybe this goes in part storage. Oh, I can hit Y. Now let's put it in there. Real question is, can you fill the loot boxes before putting them into storage? Ooh. Good question. Can we take this box? Here. Let's break these down. Let's see what it tries to to do with that. Also, one of the things I really like is that we can actually... Like, you can take this off the car and then go over to your... Like, instead of going... Like, if you don't want to use your trunk, you could just literally... You can pull this off here, go over to this and dump all the stuff inside in the locker and then just put it back. Like, you, you don't have to go to the trunk. It lets you do it. Okay. So you are allowed to make storage and then put it in storage. And probably it's best to do it in the part storage too because your other storage is probably going to be full at this point if you're doing this. Hmm. The only problem though is that this probably doesn't pull from the, um, if you're going to craft stuff, it probably won't pull from this locker. So you'll just have to kind of remember to pull stuff out of the storage locker and then do this. Maybe. Just something to think about. Alright, the car, and I was thinking about getting those puncture proof tires but that was our big problem last time worst case we can put the, the tires in storage and get new ones well we can get the all-terrain tires they get 300 health So two things better about them. One, they get 50 plus more health. And two, 
they get a road rating of A rather than B, but then they lose the AA off-road rating. But they still have an A water rating. Paddle tire would get a AA. Puncture proof has 250, same as off-road. Blocks flat and blown out. Oh, it can't blow out either. Road rating is double A, so same as the summer tire. Off-road would be a B. And water is a C. Damn. We're going to be doing a lot of water. Austria has a new map. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. And there's pro there's probably some other other updates. Um, well, before we go any further, let's go ahead and start making our lead plates. Ooh, we got lots of lead. This is nice. You can go one further and fill the storage, then put it in the storage and store that in the parts locker. Mm -hmm. That does seem to be the case. Mint Mobile. At this point, Chad, we should probably get a Ryan Reynolds emote, right? You got you guys want Ryan Reynolds? All those damn Mint Mobile ads he's in. I swear to God, Spotify. Well, I hear it more on YouTube, but it's just like, hi, I'm Ryan Reynolds. You know, this is here's my mom. Hi, everyone. Okay, buy my phone. Or whatever. I don't know. I gotta go. Watch Deadpool. What the hell, Ryan Reynolds? Okay. If I'm gonna get art to do some Ryan Reynolds emotes, we got we gotta set a goal though, chat. We gotta work towards a goal. How many members, how many Twitch subs? Actually, especially on Twitch, because I think we need to unlock... I, I think I hit my maximum on Twitch. I'll have to look into it. 1,000 new members? All right, we can do that. All right, everybody. Everybody drop two memberships. That's what Vlad says. Could run a special chat. 999. Wait. No. I was going to say, how much does Ryan Reynolds want a month for Mint Mobile? We'll just make it that number of members, but it's probably like 1999. That's like 2000. Can you change the color of the car? Yep. Yeah. The car. Uh, the chassis, all the, the doors, everything's paintable. And you can even put decals and stuff on there. And stickers. And, um, like, there's different styles for bumpers and stuff, too. Although, they're kind of more tied to the, um, like, the type of bumper you're getting. Wow, look at that. Nice push bar on that bad boy. Look at that. All right, Vlad's starting us out with a five. Uh, I don't know what our goal is going to be. Chat, you throw out a number. We'll go with that. Three hundred? Well, whatever it is, the wheel... Everything has started. I'll, I'll include Twitch subs, too. So on Twitch, we've already got... Um, I think it was... I think it was at least one. 300 is way too low. Uh, Alright, well, if you want... Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do one every 150. Although... I think one Ryan Reynolds emote is enough. We should pro we could do a different one. We'll do we'll do a two. Do prime subs count? I'll count that. Yeah, I'll count Twitch Prime subs towards that. Hell yeah.
Okay, two panels and a door. And a different bumper. You guys want two Ryan Reynolds emotes? How many businesses does Ryan Reynolds own? Multiply that by the number of mint mobile ads per hour and then divide by... <laughs> Dude, I appreciate the complex math right there. And then divide by pi. I don't know. For whatever reason, though, I do like it that... Um, like, I, I, I find the ads to be annoying, but... I don't know, I feel like Ryan Reynolds and Mark Wahlberg with the burger... Actually, you know what? I want, I want Ryan Reynolds to have a burger place. That'd be better. If Ryan Reynolds had, like, Reynolds Burger... Or something, that'd be fine. And Mark Nerd is now a uh, Tier 1 sub, dude, on Twitch. Thank you. Oh, well, that's like, what, six new members then? Six new supporty supporters? Yeah, I think I just needed a door. And I need that limb bumper. I need another engine upgrade to move the car. I think I got like almost 200 horsepower. It's probably the best song in the game right here. All emotional and everything. Okay, let's get that limb bumper on. Sure. 200 horsepower rookie numbers. I know, but this is 83. What's up, Minith? Welcome back, dude. Appreciate the support. What color are we going to paint it? We could change the color. I like the orange. I really have always enjoyed the orange, but uh, we can talk when that time comes in a minute. Yeah, this is the same car from the very beginning. Yep. All these upgrades, though. Resource radar, auto parker, jump jacks. Eh. I think I'd want the ion shield, but that could cost. Man, the ion shield would be sweet. But we need to upgrade the battery. Okay, I hate it. this song is annoying. That's so monotone. I hate that that song. I prefer not to hear that. Okay. Um. So we can make fuel from electricity. We could do the extendo back, back seat tank. That's that's probably got to be a mandatory. What the hell is this? Gas reservoir. Wait, does that go on the roof? Oh yeah. Larger external tank that sits on the roof. Not an elegant solution, but it's a substantial reservoir of an additional. Of additional gasoline, probably even fireproof. It's probably, it's probably fireproof, probably. Anna, thanks for the upgrade to a bear cup. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for the big O upgrade. All right. Oh, we're going with the extendo back seat. Well, that's easy to make.
Nice. Okay, so now we got the hydro generator and then lightning, solar, and wind are the other three. Hmm. I'll have to look into that next. Uh, can we do an extendo battery? Well, that's an external high capacity battery. Anchor energy converter, XL roof battery. Nah, I don't want that on the roof. Not yet. Mini turbine. Does this happen when we're driving? I feel like that only works when one of those windy storms come, come in. Well, we could do solar panels, so if it's raining, we get power. If it's sunny, we get power, but maybe there's some sort of passive... Like, even if it's cloudy out, maybe it gets some? Wait, was there backseating? Backseating's fine. Just don't, like, you know... Don't tell me what's about to happen. We're talking about the now. Don't spoil things. Hmm... Yeah, I don't know. Is my shirt green? It's yellow. Yellow. My filter can't really handle... I, I notice this with a lot of people. Yellow and, and uh, green. You know, for a green screen. You don't get picked up. You could also go blue, but... Blue is one of my favorite colors, so... I don't get to wear this hoodie too much, but I like doing it every once in a while in the chats. Like, dude, you're you're tra dude, you're transparent. What's going, dude? Are you disappearing? Where are you going? I can't leave chat. I work for YouTube. Gana spike log anomaly. We haven't found one of those yet. Man, do we do an external battery? I'm thinking about it. That would give us an Extendo 50 on the outside. And have 200 health. That's pretty good. About as much health as the tires. That's pretty good. So we could do Hydro and an Extendo battery here. And then we could put two suitcases here. And then what do we put on the roof? We could try that Ion Shield, but we're getting low on points. I feel like that's going to take Corrupt Energy. That seems too... Powerful. Unless we happen to find that damn thing in a, in a drop pod, which would be amazing. But I'd have to do one. Uh, well, that one's free. But one, two upgrades for that one. But we need power. So power should be first. So let's do the extendo. Hmm. these two on the maybe for ease of access I'll do it over there oh this is a seat oh this is a seat thing oh I thought it was a side thing cool how do you do research uh, you have to go out to the field and get those little um those little anchors, you know, the little radioactive balls that you pick up and put in the passenger seat? The more of those you collect, the more research you get when you come back. And then there's three types of those. Stable, which is yellow. Uh, unstable, which is kind of a salmon color or orange. And then corrupt, which is purple. Any chance the logbook gives you more info on things? than the workbench. Oh. Uh, it could be. 
I've, the logbook usually for something just gives you a long ass story about something and then doesn't I don't know some of the things in this game are confusing because it's like back in the day you'd crack open a Nintendo book and you know it would tell you like who Bowser was and maybe what his attacks were or something like that or, or like Zelda you know Zelda would tell you what an enemy does like maybe a little backstory maybe it's health points how many quirks do we have just one we still can't find what it is though I have no idea windshields cracked and a that needs a repair is that cracked that doesn't look cracked to me. Oh, yeah. There it is. That's new, too. The windshield. In the, in the Extendo demo we played, there was no damage to the windshield at all. One of those. Yeah, it's like we're playing Contraband Police now. Okay, well, I'm happy about that high-capacity battery and high-capacity uh, fuel tank. That's great. But then we got a way to charge that battery. We could do synth fuel, but I don't think we're... I don't think I'm there yet where I want to do it yet. So what do we want to do? Roof rack with the ion shield test, maybe? I think we're happy so far with this. Let's go with this. Let's buy the roof rack. I need more steel sheets. Steel sheets. Oh, isn't that under here? I right, was gonna make a, a bunch of these bad boys. I think we'll make twenty. <sighs> you know, it'll be fun to chat about the Mint Mobile when we get the Mint Mobile emotes unlocked. It like. Our first one at 150 new members. We will watch a Mint Mobile ad. And we'll watch it. We'll suffer together. I'll, I'll go look up a Ryan Reynolds ad and we'll watch it. Doesn't that sound fun? Yeah. Not sure if you noticed my quirk suggestion above. No. Really? You think if I put a... An, um, an anchor in there it stops the engine uh, I don't know how we would replicate that though you usually any sort of um, any sort of quirks you can re you can replicate in the garage so I wouldn't be able to replicate that I think well, let's go with Bondo do, do, do. engines okay I think we would, we do have better headlights, but I think I think these are okay for now. We'll just save points for the uh, what else do we want to do? Oh yeah, the ion uh, research thing. Now that we made those plate uh, plates, yeah. Okay, so let's do. Oh, roof battery takes corrupted. No surprise there. Unlock a roof rack. Ooh. K 
Okay, the ion shield is going to be awesome. That thing is basically anti-radiation protection. Which means that we can go into the, uh... Into, like, the red zone for a little bit. Now, now that we have the extendo battery. Mm-hmm. This is going to be awesome. Damn it. We need tree candy. I haven't found that yet. I don't know what that is. Carbon fiber. Bio headlights. Did they not use electricity? Bearing limb technology with the zone's curious bioluminescence, this light projects a powerful, intensely focused beam. Probably best not to think about whether it might be alive. So a stronger headlight. Oh, there. It does consume 0 0.015. Same as the... as the insulated... But apparently it's brighter. The repair putty looks ridiculous. Yeah, it is funny. Yo, Cliff! Thank you very much for the tier one Twitch sub, dude. Appreciate it. Like, what? Seven or eight new members already? Cool. What the hell is that thing? Oh, a bio lantern. <gasps> Can I put that on myself? Maybe? Hmm. And we can put lights on the roof, but, uh... Auto-tracking spotlight, that's cool as hell. Ooh, anti-corrosion, that's good for the, uh, acid. Impact, oh. Oh, impact and explosion. Well, we got a uh, roof rack now. Is there something we could put on the roof? The Lazarus device. By using a broad spectrum limb wave, and the device will dump all of its energy to rescue and uh, reconstruct you at the moment of greatest peril. Theoretically, you'll still be in one piece. Dare you test it? We have to scan a remnant ghost in order to unlock that. That's cool. So this is like a get out of jail free card if you die. Nitro boost. Are you wearing socks? Is that a bumper? Anti-grav emitter. Oh, cool. Let you, like, fly over stuff. Magnetic bumper? What the hell? Yo, dads, welcome aboard with the Twitch Prime sub. All right, hype train begins on Twitch. Exclamation point Twitch. Drop off your Twitch Prime subs. Those all count towards Ryan. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds from Mint Mobile. Magnetic bumper helps you collect loose scraps from the ground as you drive, though. Okay, now I have questions. Does that randomly gather loot that you couldn't see otherwise, or 
do you just scrap a car in front of it? Like, while you're driving down the road, if you scrap a car and then you just leave all of it on the ground, does that pick it up? There's so many things we need to, like, test. Ooh, chrono dilator. Localized time dilation is possible, albeit um, contain space and demanding s substantial energy. Device should reduce the apparent passage of time. May cause confusion, nausea, and flatulence. I wonder. Now, now another question. Does this slow down the zone, or does this just give you bullet time? Well, that's true. It'll pick up that uh, thermal stuff, yeah. That we can never find. Oh, wait. Can we get that better engine? Oh, we can. The amp engine. Whoa, this uses 234 horsepower? Ah. Uh, but it uses battery power. Only battery power. In the distance uh, past, many early cars were electric. Oop. But with Limtech magnets calibrated to onboard computer and generous dose of plasma power, amplified magnetic propulsion engine is the engine of the future. Mm -hmm. Also requires four Kalim, but... Uh... Yo, Smop, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub as well. 93% on the level one hype train. Let's go. Hmm. Some of these things are like too... Like, we'd need to experiment. Like, we'd have to, ch like, save, buy this, drive around a bit, see if it's actually worth it, and then, like, load the save if it sucks. Oh, mobile workbench. Can't get that, though. We're really thinking about some of our moves here today. Mm. Junction restabilizer. This randomizes a zone, changes its properties if you don't like it. Investigation module for the Quirks machine. Expanded matter regenerator. Improved. Oh, it increases the capacity to uh, repair parts. Okay. For one point? Uh, maybe. That lets us scan mul multiple routes before we choose taking a route. Junction bypass. That's got to be corrupt. Incident board. Oh. Charging station parts locker. Okay. Well, all right. We could get the Extendo roof storage for now. Hmm. Or we could save the points. I say we go with the Inner Goblin. And get the extendo. That way we never have to worry about storage again. And we can bring all the extra stuff with us. That's what we should do.
Hopefully this is easy to access. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Ah, oh, it's so messy. Yuck. Well. I still have a feeling we should maybe put those storage on the side then. Battery or fuel? Let's check the battery. Battery now stores a hundred. So the arc dock will heal us for four power per second. With the handbrake takes point zero one battery. It takes battery to use the handbrake. Are they high? I guess it counts as an ability. So whatever. Yeah, I can never have enough storage. True. In fact, I think we could probably do another one where we we do a, the lower roof rack and then put that on there again. So we could do a double. But here's what I think we should do. If we happen to find a drop pod that has an item in it, and it's a roof item, we could just install it. So let's throw another thing onto the roof. I'm just going to have a, a standby roof thing. More battery power as fuels everywhere. True. But fuel I have to stop and, and like, refuel. The less times I have to do that, the better. Okay, so now we'll put equipment here, I think. Backup equipment can go in here. So if I happen to find another scrapper, more flares, and especially, like, MREs and stuff, food and whatnot can go in there. We can take these two. I do want flares. And then Bondo we can put in there. Health kit we should always carry carry health on us. But you're right though about the fuel. I mean even the battery can be recharged now like a fuel station. When we find those quote unquote pacemakers, those things those things do allow us to like sit next to the thing and slowly charge. Investigate the ruins, that's our main goal today. I think we're gonna do it. Powered boots. Anti-static gloves. Ah, more resistance from electricity. I think we should get that. A little spendy on the plasma, but that's okay. Less damage, the better. We need tree candy for acid resistance. And more marsh eggs. Yeah, I'm going to go with full full electricity. So now we take 45% less damage from electrical. Good. And then radiation, we need Olympium fragments. Haven't found those yet. Carbon fiberglass for piercing resistance. Don't know what that means. Can you take down an abductor with a flare gun? I don't know. I haven't tried, but that's what I suspect too. Yeah, but more importantly, we got our backpack upgraded, which is huge. 
All right, so how are we feeling? We could add more storage to the sides, or we could add... Chat was thinking maybe more battery. We could do one battery and one fuel tank to do a little, little more extendo externally. Do we have those? We do have a side battery. Or we could do more charging devices, but... Paint? Oh yeah, we'll do that right before we go. The, mo the, more, the most important thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let's go with the side battery. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change these around. Let's move this over here. So we can access it easily from the driver's side. Let's put battery and charger here. So the battery was what 100 now it's what should it be 125 135 okay um and where's that sturge there i did put it on and then we need fuel Can big ol' fuel can go in the storage? Oh, that's true. We could carry a jerry can with us. You're going to open the junction of the wall? Wish me luck. Good luck, dude. Take it slow. Loot everything. You have time. All right, we'll do another extendo fuel tank. Love how it ties into there. They're all connected, which is convenient. Okay. So, we're good for radiation protection. We've added extended fuel. Does it give us a number for fuel? Oh, yeah, check that out. So, I think you start with like four in the game. I think last time we had six, now we have two, four, six, almost ten. Is that ten? Two, four, nine. We have nine of those. Love it. And yeah, I think we should put this fuel tank here because then we can, you know, it's all in one place. Fuel on one side and electricity on the other. Strategic about our placement. What? It's not interconnected. Oh, because you got to fuel it from here. That's why. Okay. All right. So only if we fuel it from the main tank does it interconnect. So, now they're fueled? Yeah. Okay. look good. So I'm going to leave the roof rack open. Let's make sure the battery's charged. It's alive. Yeah, it's alive. I think we're good here. Make sure we got everything out of the vacuum. Yep. We could save some stable energy. It's okay. And a little bit of unstable. 
Ooh, storage looking a little more full with all the stuff we crafted. Let's go. Got a little bit more space now. The final frontier. Uh, what do we do with the car now? What color do we paint it? Or do we add new decals? I mean, this is the most important part, Chad. What was that? Ooh, the Atom. I like the Alien. Go-kart steering wheel. Oh, really? Let's see what it looks like. These are kind of meh. Any new shifters? Another vacuum? Oh yeah, I gotta get used to going the right side now. Okay, we have another vacuum. Can we make a blowtorch now? Ugh. We're short like point one energy. Lol. So we can make it, but we, we're just a little short. Okay. That's okay. What's it take to make Bondo? Get a little low on chemicals. Make two additional Bondo. Let's make another scrapper for the road. Pry bar. Yep. Hey, looking real good. I think we're good. There's a glowing alien ship decal. Really? Really? Okay. Now let's paint the thing. We got yellow, orange, burnt orange, off white. <gasps> if we do off white, we can make it look like the Ecto one. I think we should go for the Ghostbusters. Let me see if I got other options. Evergreen, beige, off, uh, more off white. There's no like, no black or anything. Brown, red, blue. <clears throat> I think we're going Ecto one. You know what's sad though? At this point, there's so much stuff on the side of the car. If you put de decals on it, you can't really see them. You can, but, you know. Buried in all that lead armor. 
Alright, Ecto-1, here we come. Oh boy. We bussin, bussin ghosts. <laughs> wow. It almost looks like the DeLorean a little bit. With that grill from the front like that, I'm a uh, slight DeLorean vibes. That's a mighty fine automobile. Okay. Yeah, it just needs the light and the siren, yep. That'd be kind of cool if we could do a decal uh, for the roof here. Like, you know how some... Vehicles have the the roof line trim. Be, it'd be nice if we have more options. I mean, they got a crazy amount of options, but it's so good. It's like, okay, give me more, give me more. Oh, also, I think I have I have the deluxe version of the game, which should have some rare paint in it or something. Oh yeah, it's this stuff. The radium driver. How's this? Artist Space Project. The shuttle. The shuttle 7 on the side of it. Again, if I paint this car with that, I'd, I'm not even going to see it. Maybe we could put it on the hood, but I doubt... Yeah, I doubt we would see it. I think this is good. Now uh, this game's fun. I've really enjoyed this. Let's see what we get with this. Oh my god, it's perfect. It fits so well. Can I put it on the chassis? Uh, it's cooler, but I don't know how. It's actually pretty sweet. Although, I will say that I think some of the decals take up too much. Like, if you paint the car and then put decals over it, the decal almost goes over the whole damn, like, door. That seems to work pretty good. It gives it a really cool outline. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Oh, my God. It looks like the Space Shuttle 2 with all the, like, the thermal plates on the side. It's perfect. Oh, my God, it was meant to be. Is that, like, a green? Is that green and white? That actually looks quite nice together. Well, that looks green, but then it looks black over here. I don't know. Can we do the bumper? N no. Whatever. It's perfect. Did I put it on that door? Oh, it says matching. Okay. So we already did it. Yeah, it looks grayish green. Yeah. Yeah, it's certainly got a green feel to it, but... 
Whatever, it's sweet. All right, we gotta hit the road. Let's do it. Final checks. Okay, let's set our route to there. Oh, that was bad. oh, that was wrong. Or oh, wait, was it wrong? Because we gotta make a oh yeah right. We gotta go there first to find the wall crossing, then teleport back, then go back there again, and then cross the wall. We gotta make the trip like two times. All right, baby. Let's go. Hit the road. All right, seat belts, chat. I'm moving the seat back. Can you do the decal on the roof? Uh, the roof counts as the chassis. Like we could have made the uh, jerry can. We can stop at E5, then E1, then F1, and then go there. But I'm pretty sure we got like everything we need from these areas. Oh, this is perpetual stability. Well, we could get a, a little bit of yellow energy here. But I wonder if we go from E5, if we then can go to F1. Like, can, can E5 merge onto the F1 highway and go there? Uh-oh. Violent voltage, swift storm, energy abductors. Disruptive discharge. Great, everything's going to be sucking our energy out. Good thing we upgraded the battery. Let's just go here first. We can always just pass through. All right, so we got all the time in the world. We'll just go out for a cruise, boys. Yeah, isn't it awesome in 2024 to have a rear view and side view mirrors that work? Games are still struggling figuring out how to get that to work. Oh, we got a, we got a ways to go. It's not struggling it, to get it to work, but struggling to have it not suck up all the RAM and you know performance issues. Oh, dude, you're going to need uh, 40, two more 4090s for each mirror. Oh, now that's interesting. We're starting to see pacemakers all of a sudden. The map's where they used to not appear. I did need the plasma though. We did need to go plasma shopping.
Beep, beep. Party bus emotes. Okay. Uh, yep. Wow, look at that. It's so weird to see an actual decent uh, storage. It's crazy. <laughs> Target has a decent supply of plasma. Every once in a while I have to go there for something, but I really only just go there to wander through the Lego aisle on my way out. Be like, oh, I need a thing of detergent. Better go over there. Well, since I'm here, may as well just, you know, spend eight times as long as it took me to get to the uh, detergent aisle to take a look at all these Legos that need to be adopted. They're so lonely, they need to know. For real, though, I want that... Uh, Chat called me out the other day. They were like, you still haven't made a Lego set. And it's like, you're right. I did promise I would do one. But I think the only Lego set I want at the moment still is the uh, the medieval set. But you know what I'd really like to do is like put that together with Uthris. That'd be a good, that would be a good podcast. Chat, chatting and putting together Legos. You know, you got hot ones. That's fine. But I want, first episode, me and Brian Cranston build a... Uh, RV. A Lego RV. What's up, Zardax? Yeah, with a working lab, yeah. We'll call it uh, the Piece by Piece podcast. Or just be piece by piece starring me. And then episode 200 chat. We get on a very famous actor that many of you probably know. An owner of a new small business known as Mint Mobile. You may be familiar with his work in many a movie including Waiting pretty sure. Deadpool. Hugh Jackman. No, it's Ryan Reynolds, but yeah. That's it, Chad. I, that's what I gotta do. I gotta get, uh, I gotta get Ryan Reynolds and, uh, Brian Cranston on my, my podcast. I think we're just gonna go down to the end of the road here. You know, there's still one anomaly. I haven't... I don't know what the hell it is. Feral. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll do a Will Ferrell Will Ferrell epi Well, actually, he was in the Lego movie. Will Ferrell played that kid's dad. But I don't mind getting him on to build some Hot Wheel tracks. Now, let's see if this is an anomaly. Yeah, but we already scanned it. 
basically stuff to crack your windshield. Harmless if you drive through it slow, though. Want Johnny Depp on? All right. I'm sure at a certain point, when they see the podcast, they'll just be calling me. I won't have to have any sort of PR department. It'll just be like Brian Cranston. Be like, "Hey, I know it's the seventh time I called today, but I really would like to be on the show." All right, Brian. I'll see if I can pencil you in. No guarantees, though. another trailer. Maybe we'll find more chemicals. You love the UFO from the mirror? Me too. Uh-oh. If Red and Link can have multiple actors in Good Mythical Morning, I'm sure you can do the same with enticing a Lego build podcast. Yeah. We certainly do want more plasma. Don't you touch my car. You monster. It had to die. Boop, 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 boop. Good morning, Torland. How's it going, dude? Alright, we got another tower. This is pretty casual right now. Like, we have perpetual stability, so there's no threat of danger, really. I mean, there there always is, but not nothing from the zone. What's up, Amy Jo? Okay, we got a couple more buildings to hit up. And four juicy stabilizers in the middle. That's pretty good. I don't even know if we'll need that tier one energy anymore after this. 
Like at a certain point, I'm pretty sure we just need more unstable. Car looks awesome. Thanks, bro. I tried to make it like the Ecto-1, painted it white. And then we found something called the Space Shuttle decal, so I threw that on there and it, I don't know, it just looks cool. You know, chat, you know what I got the other day in the mail? It wasn't from the P.O. box, but it was from a developer. For the first time, I got an MRE for a survival game. A survival game sent over a U.S. military surplus uh, MRE. And it's a um, taco flavor thing. I think I'm going to do a parody video, that one guy who does all the MREs. I wanted to do this before where I was like, you know, Alex's dad is in the French military and I'm like, oh my god, dude, send over some instant baguettes or something. Oh, it suddenly got foggy. Yeah, Steve83 or something, yeah. I'll make a parody video like that. And then everyone will be like, Dude, you're copying that guy. I like, know it's a par parody satire. No. You can't eat food on your channel. That's his thing. Anyway, I'm going to go watch Binging with Babbage. Bye. Okay, dude. <laughs> People are like that. It's so weird. Now I see through. Yes, you can. You can see clearly now. The rain is gone. Boop. Actually, stop here for a minute. Let's do some refueling. Our big baby is thirsty. the door won't open as easily anymore because it's uh, heavier. That's interesting. Oh good, more shock towers, more plasma. Never know when we'll need that.
No electricity. Don't you bite me. Am I going to wear the mechanic shirt on stream? You know, I want to, but it, it's just too nice. I like this game so much, I don't even want to touch this stuff. Like the Dave the Diver stuff, I put right back. Uh, but the developers are giving away, like, a uh, literally a toolbox. If you, if you guys want to see, by the way, exclamation point Twitter and exclamation point Instagram, I have some photos up, and I'll put up some more of the uh, cool stuff. Th this very game sent me stuff. And um, it's a toolbox with, like, a uniform in it, like a, a mechanics uniform with a name patch with my name on it. And um, they sent over, like, a bunch of stickers, radioactive labels. Bro, they even made, like, a user manual for this car. Like, they, they came up with a fake 1983 station wagon, like, owner's manual that has, like, the whole you know, oil change timetable in there and stuff, and, like, handwritten notes of when maintenance was done on the car and stuff. It's pretty crazy. So definitely, definitely check that out. That link is, you're, you're going to want to see that. People, people, whoa, whoa, whoa. Activate defenses. Get the hell out of here. Wait, did the, did the wipers come on when I start the car? No, nah, I would have noticed that by now. Damn dust bunnies. Sons of the Forest tonight. Well, you guys seem to like that. On February 22nd, the full 1.0 version of that game came out. Last night, me and Red were having a hell of a time fighting enemies, but then we found a cool spot and made a neat base. That story is going to be hard as hell to get through. I see people playing that on Ultra Hard, and it's like, damn. If I do that, I'm going to need, like, Bradford to babysit me. Actually, I don't even know if he's played that game. There's He played the first one a lot. What's the orange globe for? That is called a uh, a plug, a stability plug. And if we collect those, it goes into a thing in the passenger seat called an arc device. And when we collect those, it powers up the car, kind of like the flux capacitor in Back to the Future. And eventually it'll allow us to teleport back to our base. And it also is worth points for research. And there's three different colors in the game, so and they're different rarities. So the more of those we get, the better. And then when we go back to base, we get to do we, we get to unlock more stuff, so they're really they're pretty important. You want to get as many of those as you can. Yeah, Sons of the Forest is the one with the yeah the girl with the three arms and the guns. Oh, we're getting a radio message. Car radio is picking up some weird transmission. Snapped by a crocodile. 
kids. Is this game hard? Um, yeah, it depends on your experience with these types of games in the past, but in my opinion, mostly no, and then yes, a little bit. As in, like, pure, pure terror as you have to escape a zone and it's closing in around you. It could be, it could be tense. The game could get tense. It's the right amount of challenge. There is a whole uh, radio contest going on in this game too. If uh, if you guys watching submit clips of me to their Discord doing and saying funny things, uh, apparently they're gonna uh, they'll contact people to be uh, like r do radio stuff. Like you could be on the radio like that kid was. Maybe I'll do my piece by piece podcast with Brian Reynolds through Pacific Drive. Hey guys, welcome to Pacific Drive Radio. I'm Raptor. Uh, me and Ryan Reynolds are here to put together a mint mobile phone. went here already let's go there oh what is this oh a little deposit site okay we'll stop here I was saying you could vacuum out the light bulbs oh you can okay Good a pearl. Hey, what's up, Emma? Yeah, true. As you yeah, exactly, yeah. As you play this game more, it does get a little more. You get a feel for the game and what they're trying to go for. You get a feel for the car and the world and the timing and you kind of get a feel for how things work and those upgrades make things easier too very true did we go there we did doors open the radio cat jam You're listening to Cat Jam Radio at 105.2 STFU. Charge me up, bro. Wait, you saw Wendy's chili in a store? Like you can buy like a Wendy's chili mix? I'm starting to see that more too. We're just like fast food places are just putting their... I first remember seeing this with like Fridays back in the... Uh... Like TGI Fridays back in like... And they were good. Now I'm seeing like Cheetos, mac and cheese. And oh, it was a full can of chili. Not even a mix. Wow. I'm coming, car. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, White Castle Sliders, yep. Uh, the Arby's Curly Fries. I think there was like Taco Bell, Taco Mix and stuff. Yeah, the C yeah, 
chat's even saying it. The seasoning. Taco Bell meat is mix is good. I mean, yeah, that's a good thing, too. Like, you could... That's even better. Like, you go to Taco Bell for the flavor, which is like, yeah. <laughs> but, I don't know. You, you make something at home, you get to... It's quality control. You get to have a little more control over the what you put it on. Quality control is good. The wind is us Otherwise, you end up with somebody being like, uh, Hi, welcome to our store. What can we get you? Yeah, I'd like uh, one deluxe burger, and I'd like another burger, but I do not want mushrooms. I do not want man uh, mustard, and I do not want uh, um, onions on it. And what do you get? Those exact three ingredients being the only things on it. Awesome. Awesome. criminals but it happens whatever <laughs> yeah that's a man burger I feel like this would be three things Bradford hates onions mustard and uh, oh. onion mustard and uh mushrooms. It'd be crazy to see a Wendy's icon on the map. My first moment where, like, the the real world was... Like, the video game world and the real world was broken when I played Crazy Taxi for the Sega Genesis... Or for the Sega Dreamcast. And they had, like, KFC in that game. And I'd be like, hey, man, bring me to the KFC. It's like, what? They put that in the game? How did they get away with this criminal activity? Scan? I don't. I don't. I already scanned those towers. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. Hopefully. Make sure I did scan it. Uh, where is it? Yeah, we yeah we scanned it. Tourists with the electroshocks. Oh, I'm pretty sure we scanned them too. I think they were called shocked tourists. What are the square thingies on the door panels? Those are the little lead plates for radioactive uh, protection. Well, we could go down this road. See if there's any Arta trucks or Arta vans, and then we'll just turn around. Is the flare gun any use? Yeah, but it's only one shot. 
But I don't know what the hell the flare gun really is for. I mean, you could you could use it for that to shoot it through a group, but you may as well. I, flares are so common, you could just easily throw them. And usually, most of the car wrecks have a, a flare in the back. Oh, it it does four shots now. Okay. When I played the creator demo, it was like a one shot thing, and I was like, well, that's worthless. Which is good because I wanted to have durability like the thermo, uh, what's that gun called? The, um, the Liberator, right. Liberator I think was like eight shots or something, or six. Feel like a van should be over here or something. Well, there's a fuel tank. And what looks to be a structure. Do I have the pogo jumper on my car? Uh, we did unlock that, but I did not install that. Alright, end of the road. Turn around and leave now. Yeah, we added a roof storage, yep. And I ex uh, expanded the storage in the back to the... We put a trunk in the trunk. And so it removes a lot of the weird uh, lines and stuff that were in some of the boxes. But feels good, man. lately. I'm not feeling it. 
Let's get out of here. Deja vu? Why oh, this is mud? I will take the plasma. Convenient. Thanks, Woodstorm. Oh, we can't go there. Okay. So we can't go to F1. We have to go to E1. I guess we'll go there. Two things we haven't recognized. One thing on the left that looks like a alien spaceship abducting something and then something else that's radioactive. But we've already scanned hot dust. I don't know. I don't know. New type of abductor. That's what I think, too. I just... I don't know. They all look the same. Even though I've been scanning them. All right, this is just just passing through, right? Yep. Well, I was, oh wait, this is uh is this Cappy? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's where Cappy is. Huh. No longer per uh, perpetually stable, though. You still have anomalies in the outer zone? Yeah, okay. Yeah, may you, you might be right. Maybe there's multiple types of the same enemy that are, like, a little stronger. But they look identical, so it's like, I don't know, to, to stop at every enemy, um, that might look the same, I don't know. Okay, that's the hot dust. Let me, let me see if I can scan that real quick. Nope, I mean, that, I've already scanned that. Is Raptor News your channel? Ah, uh, yes. Breaking news. The Cinderella Castle at Disney World has burned down. 
is what I heard. I didn't get a chance to see more information on it, so it could be a hoax, but uh, that's what I heard. Could be wrong, though. Is it, is it a hoax? Well, like I told everyone when I said it, I was like, I, I heard that, but I didn't see any pictures. Or video. I would trust video more from multiple sources. Junk Fury 2? No. It's a hoax from Mousetrap news. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, also, Chad, I've been wanting to play a game called Supermarket Simulator, which is totally just... You know what's one, funny is that nobody really played like Trader Life Sim or anything like that, but I see a lot of people playing the Supermarket Simulator. It's the same thing, so it's like, oh good, I hope more people enjoy the whole like first person manage a gas station, first person manage a grocery store. It was a satire. Okay, then. No, I don't know. I don't know what Junk Fury is. I haven't played that. I don't know. Oh, this could be radioactive as hell in this building. What the hell is that? I need you. Come here, you. I must scan you. I think. A hopped up hair. There we go. Alright, cool. Yeah, you can highlight loot, yeah. It helps for those thermal guys, but... Uh, hey, more decals. Let's go. It's like something straight out of Fallout. Pirate ship. Oh, that might be fun. Man, look at how cool the car looks. Damn it, man. This game looks just so cool. Let's see if we can go to that cluster of buildings. Happy. I wonder if he needs to be scanned. I, I'm assuming not. I think we're about ready to need some Bondo here. Pretty soon. All right.
Ooh, a blowtorch. Nice. Those are quite rare in the game. Oh, this game makes you nauseated, but you like watching? Uh, well, happy to be a service. I hope you're able to enjoy it just as much as I do. My 2024 game of the year so far, by far. And yeah, we'll break that later. collect a little bit of this for the metal for repair. Yeah, the mid zone should have more thermal sap. Better ways to get it. jump into Cappy again? Looks like we can. Like, I can lower the barrier, I think, again. I, it might just teleport us back home. I'm not sure. I think so. Okay, so we went to... Four of those? Ah, uh, the neighborhood's a pain to loot. I think we'll just go here and then up to these buildings and then leave. We'll get the anchor, then we'll go do the buildings. We didn't go in here yet.
Hell yeah. Oh, the zone's closed and they didn't even give me the alarm. What the hell? Hmm. I didn't hear the alarm at all. There it is. Guy on the alarm sleeping. Come on, Bob, wake up. Wake up, Bob. I don't know, Bab. Hey. I like I like free zap. He should be dead. Well, how quickly is the zone closed? Looks like pretty slow. Now we could try for the um could try for a drop pod. We got the ex extendo storage. We got the mega engine. Uh, what do you think? Is it a good game? It is, yeah. Yeah, it's a very good game. Yep, this is one that I've been waiting for, excited for. Uh, it was better than I expected when I played the demo, and I just kind of keep thinking that when I'm playing it more. We'll see how it ends and see how it, you know, it feels for replayability. But I, I feel like this is the type of game where it's like, you know, when you... When somebody beats this game, they may, may go and immediately do like a full fresh start. There might be a new game plus. We'll have to see. But I like. Name the car Mel M Melichar? Melichar? The hell? He's so sad. I'm so lonely. I'm Mr. Lonely. I have nobody. That's the well. The, the plates are like um, Melich HT, or is it MT? I forget. I don't know. I have a suspicion though of what that car may be. I might be close to the truth. Ooh, repair putty. Nice. Love how the toolboxes actually have like tools in them. Break this open this way. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh.
Oh, is that zone? Zone's already here. Wow. Oh, wow. Sons of the Forest tonight. You guys keep asking about that. I think I scheduled it. Maybe I didn't. But yeah, I think so. I think we will play it. Go. Oh, hello, sir. You find it a little hard? Yeah, the game is, um, it's not easy, but it's not impossible. It certainly starts out challenging, but if you take your time in the initial areas to get all, if you basically loot first, loot everything, loot, loot everything and loot often, you'll be alright. chemicals and check for a drop pod and if we don't get it then we'll leave. Oh, I needed that plasma too. Yeah, that's okay. Car? Where are you, car? Another gas station. <laughs> Refueling. You missed the schedule, my bad. You're good. It's all good. Sometimes I think I did something and I didn't either. So I'll be like, check the schedule, chat. No, no, it's good. It's fine. Don't know who will uh, join us tonight, but we'll, we'll see.
Can I reach through the door and loot something? No. Any more dumpsters? A box and a dumpster. Wow. No dumpster pearl, though. Sag. Have I talked to Jerry lately? And you, you know, people in our community come around and stay around for a long time, and then they get busy. It's almost like um, it's like the opposite of school, where like you know, in school you'd go to school for like I don't know around nine months or whatever, and have about three months off. Here it's kind of the opposite. Like people will come around for like three months and everybody gets busy. Everybody in our community. Gotta go that way. Everybody gets busy. And then they always come back. Always ask, you know, where's so and so? But what we should be asking is, who put the bop at the bop at da ba da whoop at the ding at the bip dip at That's really that. Those are the big questions we all should be asking. If I like the mechanics, do you think the game suits me? I mean, that's all a personal choice. I mean, A majority of the games that I like, I play, and I, I've seen people complain about that. Like, you like every game you play. It's like, yeah, I do. I also like all the food that I go to the grocery store and buy, too. Do you like everything that you put in your refrigerator? Yeah. Come on, man. I just gotta get up this hill. God, this sucks. There we go. Alright, we're gonna leave. We're not stopping for nothing except for a drop pod. I hit a shopping cart. Alright, we made it. Yeah, Jerry was great to play Raft with. Oh my god. This one we're just going to have to haul ass through. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to stop in this area. This seems like bad times. Hmm. 
I think we're going there. Welcome to hell. Okay, I think I'm just going to speed through and try to get these two thingies. These might be unstable markers because we're in a storm. I'm not sure. Oh, good. We're charging our battery. That's good. We're just passing through. Don't want to go through the tunnel. Gonna ignore loot in here because it's a little dangerous. Yo, thanks for all the follows on Twitch, everybody. Okay, we're swinging left here. We gotta go up over that bridge. Uh oh. I gotta go up around and over that bridge. Oh, an Arda truck. Okay. We're stopping for that. Ooh, a special scrapper. Oh, and we're already out of time. Beat it, bruh. We got a van. Use the shield? Oh, does that get rid of them? That's right, I'll just throw it in the park and check them out. That worked out. No, you're probably right. That, the shield probably works for that. I just use it for the bunnies because they're annoying. Because they latch on.
Taylor Swift. Somehow it's not making sense. Living between the distance. Nope, didn't touch it. Let's go into litigation. Alright, let's try. I think it worked. Maybe. Lights off. God damn it. Wait, yeah. Need to make one of those too. Glass to electronics. Okay. Cat jam. It'll buff out. Indeed it will. Uh, nope. Can't go through there. broken it'll need a repair too
Get out of here. Well, this place wasn't that bad. We just didn't have much time to loot. Well, we certainly needed the uh, chemicals in there. Would love to see another blowtorch, though. All right, we're good. Okay, back to the car. Do the cops keep trying to tow me? We're here. Well, at least to the zone to discover the zone. It's gonna hurt our battery though. Oh my god, we got lore. Let's go to the hill. Gas station first. I hear cat jam again. Coffee and bears. That's the podcast you want me to be on. It's just me drinking coffee and then wrestling bears.
Alright. I know there's more lead and stuff over there, but I want... Uh, there's some here, too. But I want to get those samples. stream was acting weird. If that ever happens, just do a quick refresh. If the stream goes down, you're like, oh my god, he must have ended the stream. I'm out of here. It's like, nah, it's probably just YouTube being weird. YouTube's just like, uh, yeah, the stream ended. It's like, I don't know if I believe you, YouTube. Ah, oh, you got me. I'm lying again. Oh. Probably take those flares. We want those. A little, uh, a little chinky. In a can. Bearded one. Thanks for following on Twitch too, dude. Transmuter. No. Alright, are there any of these guys new? Abductor. Well, I have no idea how to do that, Christian. Look, I got an MRE from a survival game developer, which was pretty cool. I think I'll do a... Um, trying to figure out how to do it, but I... Maybe I can get a camera and do it. I don't know. It'll be a fun thing for the chat, for being chatty chatters. Now, those things flying around are called abductors. They'll, like, latch onto your car and pull you off the road. I think they'll steal things out of your hands and stuff, too. They're kind of annoying. But luckily, they pretty much show you where they're going to be. You just got to stay out of the little blue light. But if they happen to see you, just throw the parking brake on. And they really can't pull you far. Don't run from them. Did I understand correctly? You can't repair tools in this game, just make new ones. Um, 
That might be true, but there is a... There's a thing at your garage that you can put parts in to have them repair the parts, so it might work for tools. But I don't know of any way to repair something in the field. You do have to make a new one, from what I know, but... I guess we're, we're still discovering that. It seems to be the case so far. But I don't know for certain. Regenerator does not fix tools? Okay. Oh, this is horribly dark, and I'm actually going to use one of these. Platelets. A good trade. Bigfoot approval. Thanks, Bigfoot. Before the zone closes, I think I'm just going to go straight for these samples. There's no way out of here, so it's going to close from all angles, and I want to get that lower, too. Maybe we should do lower first. We'll hit up a sample on the way, so it's probably going to be this one. Okay, let's do that. Oh, you throw tires at dummies? Oh, that's smart. That's a smart way to do that. Oh. Yeah, NPCs will talk on the radio, yeah. Yeah, just random people from around the city. Or survivors left in the zone. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're good. Yeah. Important lore. 
do you force 100,000 people out of their homes without facing major resistance? Be the government? Even if you're the United States government, facing down what's being peddled as the greatest threat our nation has ever faced, the answer is, we don't. This is Frequency File, Episode 3, The Human Cost. Last episode, I reported all the cold, hard facts I could get my hands on. If you missed that episode, here's the summary. There wasn't much. Now, we jump tracks to the stories of the people, to knit together old records and eyewitness accounts to form some fabric of the true story. Whoever's job it was at Arda to suppress stories did a really good job. What they did to keep that sheer number of people from talking, and then to smear the stories that did come out, was a masterstroke of obfuscation. Unfortunately for Arda, the cases that made it all the way to court became public record. And the facts were these. Arda played nice at first with a generous relocation package. We offered cold, hard cash and built sprawling housing complexes in nearly every state to resettle the former residents. These new communities were built as idyllic, white picket fenced neighborhoods where you were sure to be surrounded by all American families who shared your same values. God damn right, brother. The benefits of government subsidies, hot dogs, and stores, trucks. Those are, those are my values. Public parks. Not a bad deal for the looks of things. When it came to the holdouts, the people who wouldn't leave for any amount... Baseball and I want to watch Wheel of Fortune and Price is Right, brother. And the government won out, as it always does. And while the government has the sovereign right to seize private property... They do. The Fifth Amendment mandates just compensation be paid for it. But it doesn't specify when or how this compensation be made. <laughs> and many dissenters ended up with nothing through good old loopholes and bureaucracy. Some of whom are still pursuing their claims to this day. But the chilling thing is, those left with empty pockets consider themselves lucky. There is a saying they mutter amongst themselves under their breath. But at least they have the luck to not live in Sierra. Yeah, Sierra looked rough. Messing with the car. Stop it. There. Okay, good. We're, we're fine. You had the same tire go out six times in a drive? Wow. You need to fire that tire. Is the driver door cracked? Yeah, probably. I'll have to make some uh, sealant for it, but we're about to head back. Oh, it's one of those puddles. Oh, those things are quite hidden.
We've taken some damage, not too bad this run. I mean, you're always, always taking damage in this game. Especially emotional damage. Alright. Not a big deal. Oh, we only got one flat tire. Canadian geese there, bud. Right, let's grab this and go. You even get real lucky with your runs. Good. Ah, 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 ah. I think we'll just get out of here. Let's see if a drop pod comes in, though. Now that we finally have space for it. dropped. Mm. No. Oh, we're in a real good spot to claim one, too. Yeah, remove the anchors last, yeah. Zone becomes much less stable. Hey, Drops, welcome back. Can we add a car emoji? Yes. I think I've seen one. All ten fingers on and Twitter. toes accounted for? But don't just count them. You gotta check and make sure you didn't bring back any toe hands. Toe hands? Ma'am. Okay, so now we should be able to get there. Yes. Now we can plot a route to Junction Charlie 1, the Scorch. Perpetual stability. That's where the Red Meadow is. So, we don't, we don't have to go uh, the back route anymore. We can just go straight there. All right. Do a little work. Nope. Oh, got new facts. I'm not alive. I'm not sentient. I just believe that I'm, you know, an uh, ad. Huh? Ryan Reynolds? Is that you? Well, we got a lot of stable energy. That's good.
Now we gotta go across the wall and get unstable. Uh, let's see, floodlights. Good research the puncture proofs. We don't we don't have to spend them. We can just hold on uh, onto the uh, like we'll bank it. We'll put it in the bank. Money in the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there is an anchor condition where the anchors will be will not be marked. Yep. Oh, wrecked. All right, let's do the investigator module. We'll upgrade this for maybe detecting quirks. Do I have the hots for Ryan Reynolds? No, he really wants me to switch to Mint Mobile. And that dude is in my ads like every day. And what perpetuates it is because because I complain it about it to you guys, the phone, you know, things that listen to you hear that, gives them feedback, and then they play more ads on that. That's how that works. Now we're going to go upgrade the... Yep, let's go upgrade the radio antenna in a storm. Junctions in a red area on the trip planner will usually have a tier above. So a stable region has unstable. Middle zones will have corrupted. Really? I think, weren't we just in an unstable zone that didn't have any... I don't think it had a single red one. Yeah, let's install a big old metal antenna in the storm. That's a good idea. OSHA shan't have anything to say about that. All right, let's get the car offloaded. And that car, that run was pretty good. The, the car really took minimal damage. I mean, we kind of were more relatively safe, but um, good run. Okay, so that is the only one we got, which was oh, that one. I think the first Starfighter is a good one. painted the car white. Looks like a space shuttle now. Nope. 
other way around. Oh, there's a shifter too. Arrow shifter. Full speed ahead. Oh, it'd be cool if it turned the colors when it was, you know, red for park and green for go. Yo, James, thanks for the tier one sub on Twitch. Where's the door in the secret room leading to? Did we find out? Yeah. Inside the bathroom, there's a hidden door back here. Leads to a secret lab. And there was a hard drive here that Francis and Tobias wanted me to send over via the pneumatic tube system. And there was also another pneumatic in there for a thing called the Dock Arc, which is a... You can heal yourself at the expense of electricity in the car. Pretty cool. Oh, there's even more stuff. All this space. Spicy veggie soup. Ooh, look at all those red zones. They man. Let's go to fax machine. Upgrade the gas pump. Uh, if I can with stable points, can I? Fuel your vehicle faster than any other standard pump could. Oh, it takes unstable energy. Nah. Convenient stuff with unstable or corrupt energy. I don't know if I want to do that. Like, it might save us five seconds, but that could also be points we could have spent on, like, a inventory upgrade or something. Yeah, loot radar is good. We've used that before. Hmm. 
I don't want to bondo up the car. We don't really have to do much here, uh, other than just what we just did on un unload the car. And we'll get things close to max health. Keep those flares here. Okay, dumpster friend, what do you got? <laughs> Chemicals, good. What else you got? And that's it. Alright. All he had. Unreliable. You're out of here, pal. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, the um, thing outside the garage now is the thing for uh, car part storage. We can kind of like, and we could buy a few of these things too, but yeah, you could put all the uh, stuff you're not using on your car in there. So like, if you got an extra bumper, or if you've got like the, if you're using the loot radar and then you're like, well, I don't want to use that anymore, you can just put it in there and store it. You can always scrap items too if you want to, but uh yeah, like now I can take all these things and put them in there. I could just leave them in that other machine, but yeah. But you can only put one part in there, even if it could fit two. Only one part per locker space. I think we're ready to go again. It's alive. Ooh, we have three quirks now. Still not sure what one of them is.
think one of the quirks could literally be like when gas tank empties, something happens too. Oh yeah, we need a headlight, yeah. I've seen it before where like um, one of the quirks could be like when you're mo when you're driving really fast and you have your head uh, your wipers on they'll like kind of stagger. So there's three quirks. Usually it would be something related to a door, like open the passenger door and the driver door opens or closes or something. hints found. Car, headlights, and steering wheel. Those are our clues. So something happens with headlights. Headlights either switch on, off, toggle, stay on, or stay off. But I've never seen them go off. Left. Right. Engine on. Engine off. The thing is, sometimes these are so obscure that they don't actually, like, hinder you too much in the game. I mean, this could be as much as, like, you know, lights dim when batteries below 50% or something like that. Call AAA. Chat, there's no more AAA in gaming. It's now quadruple A. We've stepped up to quadruple A gaming. Alright, so something related to the car, but that's super... That's a long list. Is off ground, moves backwards. Let's try kicks. <laughs> Troublemaking. Give your car a few swift kicks. Maybe it'll help. Okay. Not that. Oh, warps. Maybe something if our car warps? Let's try that.
scanning for warp look bro middle of this garage meant for cars might be a good spot no okay does it really matter then no not if it's not affecting our like performance Like, if it were the... Like, if it made a door open or something, that'd be bad, because then we wouldn't be protected against radiation. If it were something with the lights, that would be bad, because we wouldn't be able to see, and it would mess with us. Steering would be bad. There's a lot that would be bad, but here it's not, like... It's nothing major here. Yeah, I kicked the car already. Apparently, for a steering wheel, its steering wheel goes r left or right, or stays turning. Something's supposed to happen. I have no idea. Does the door close? Doesn't really affect anything, really. Radio volumes going up and down when the doors are open. Well, which door? got to be related to one of those things listed. Did that only happen after they warp? not even listed. I don't even know what the that's not even listed as a quirk, the radio. The work quirks have something to do with the car itself, the headlights and the steering wheel. The hell? Radio volume is going on and off, even though it's, uh, even though the radio is off. What the hell? fixed what the hell oh there is it there it is I 
has some, it has to do with the headlights. There we go. Okay, we got that one now. So it says when headlights are switch off, uh, radio changes volume. When headlights toggle, radio change the line. All right, when headlights stay off, then. There we go. Uh, light replacement kit. Yeah, it was so obscure, I wouldn't even have noticed that. So we need the headlight replacement kit. We've had one condition for like three streams, and we don't even know what the hell it is. Like, we've been playing nonstop, and it must be so obscure. That me and thousands of other people haven't even noticed it. Which is hilarious. Because then there's always that one guy. Dude, I told you in episode zero that the car trunk, when it closes, it makes a k clunk rather than a k kunk k kunk Oh, thanks, dude. Screaming at my screen. Alright, so now there's just two. Something to do with the car. And something to do with uh, the steering wheel. So something happens either when our steering wheel goes left or right. Whether we swerve hard left or right. Or if we are constantly turning. Let's try this one. Let's swerve. If anything happens. See that? But what's doing it? When wheel turns left, wipers speed up. For sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Love that. That is so cool that you can find those. So that's related to the wheel. So when steering wheel goes left, wipers uh, move fast. Yeah, hell yeah. Mechanics kit. I have a pleasant voice. I should do podcasts. Yeah, I'm doing podcasts with uh, Brian Cranston this weekend. Then Ryan Reynolds will show up. My piece by piece Lego build pod podcast. All right, so we needed a mechanics kit for that. Good luck with that last one, dude. I have no idea. That is so obscure. Done. So whatever this is, it's a problem with the car. So it could be anything from the car crashes, switches on, switches off, moves fast, warps, receives an anchor. Somebody was mentioning something about that. I'm 
when I put an anchor in, they said something. The radio comes on. I, there's no way I can actually replicate that, but they were right then. Uh, brakes moves faster. Backwards moves slow. Is off the ground. Is kicked. Is on an incline. Moves uphill or downhill. Can we do another guess of the machine? Yeah, it'll take 0.5 kale. A thousand limbs, though. But all right, what the hell? How do they? How do I take a hint? Give me a hint for this one. When the car is on an incline, phew. Then what? Uh, just, just tell me. Headlights dim? That's gotta be it. Flickers, maybe? I'll do a couple guesses. Gotta be something about dimming. Or actually, maybe it gets brighter? Yep. I think I noticed that too. We need electronic and light replacement kit. Wow, that was super obscure. Clear dark works. Now I just gotta figure out how to fill up our blinker fluid. Chat keeps telling me, I don't know how. I've been trying to learn. Alright, are we good to go? I think we're good to go. I'm leaving. Did I forget anything? Probably. But I think we're gonna we're just gonna go straight shoot there. I think we're gonna go F1, F2, and then straight there. Over through the wall. I don't think you can have more than six quirks, so keep the ones that aren't really an issue. That's true. Yeah, that one, on the, the incline one really wasn't that bad. We'd gone X number of streams, and like people probably mentioned it, but like nobody really noticed it. Like the wipers one wasn't really an issue. Like when we turn left, the wipers go faster. Like, okay. That's good, I guess. charge the battery. Let's do that. I think we'll do too is we'll uh, we'll bring along a jerry can. Because what we could do is if we stop at a gas station, I could just uh, fill up the jerry can as well. We should be able to make one. for an emergency. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. And we got an extra light bulb. And we have a plasma scrapper, too, or at least a higher quality one. I, th 
think. What's it look like? Yeah, it's just a higher quality one. Uh, Alright. We'll bring the better one along. Yep, we got the storage upgraded on the car. In the trunk and then at the top of the uh on the top of the car too. And on the side. On the top is where we had the scanner and the demo. Exactly. We had the ion shield up there too. Okay, so we went to E5 and E1 before. I don't really think we need to make a stop for plasma. Or anything like that. So let's just go straight to F1. We'll pass through and then we'll go to F2. We're just going to try to get through the wall. We're going to try to do a pure story, minimal loot. Can try to grab some anchors, though. The pops. Oh, is this another story lore thing? Tobias and Francis are going to talk to us again. Or maybe on really long drives, where you're going a long distance, the game will put you in a mini loot section, I guess. Well, it wouldn't hurt to check these. We could find a blowtorch, which would be great. Do the car stop sound like a dime? Maybe we'll find an Arda truck or a van. Indeed we did. Oh, 
we found tree candy. One. It's cold, but juicy. Say Opie's notes. What? Description that's been profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to on here. The tree candy is like squishy coal. Alright. Glad we found that. Our first one. We need more of it though. Alright, good find then. Worth it. Oh. Uber. Sounds like that guy who sings uh, Lady in Red. Lady in Red. Right. easy. Now I need to know where to find that tr uh, stuff for real. I'll have to find it. Oh. It's unlocked. How rare. You want to be here when I unlock the pneumatic stu uh, tube storage? Yeah. That's probably going to have to happen at some point. We're probably going to get so much damn loot. So that's interesting. No matter what the game... I, I thought we would direct travel, but there is those long distance in between points like that where there's a chance to get a little. But also I think it's supposed to make it so that way you have to use some fuel. So it kind of forces you to use fuel. Alright, there's lore and anchors. Let's just go straight for the lore and the anchors. Lord. Of the witnesses to the CRM disaster that are still alive, most aren't willing to speak to me. The one eyewitness account remains the most damning report of what happened. It's Lou Arganza. She was nine when she last saw her parents alive. You were born in the zone? Yes. Born and raised in Sierra Town until... Well, until it wasn't a town anymore. Lou was evacuated from the zone on February 13th, 1973. Can you share what you remember from that day? Sure. I was at a week-long wilderness camp. This yearly thing my elementary school would put on. They throw the kids into the woods, show us how to pick apart animal droppings, sketch 
That was it? Come on, give me more. I want to hear about Lou. Give me the loop. Give me the loop. Here. Are you tripping or something? YouTube said the stream was two, uh, seven years long. Typical YouTube, yeah. A lot of big trees in the way we can't get through. Bro, come on. We're not on like any incline. Let's go. What incline, dude? Ah, uh, it's because of the damn rock. The game apparently thinks a rock is like some sort of an impassable. Like wheels on a hard surface? That's horrible. Bro, come on, dude. This is the easiest incline to get up. gallons of fuel just to do nothing. There we go. It's like a zero 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 point one percent grade. Yeah, whatever car. Don't you run away. I'm mad at you. Now we can just leave. Everything else is just the basic crafting stuff, including um, chemicals and whatnot, but we got a lot of that now. Oh yeah, we've definitely hit 88 miles an hour before, for sure. Looks like we could do about, what, 40? 45, maybe? On average?
Okay, before we leave, repair time. What's up, Big L? You know what these panels look like? Periodic table. Hundo 10 looks like the periodic table of elements. Gives me those vibes. You started playing this yesterday? Ah, good. I hope you're enjoying. Well, if it's on Epic, remember to use code Raptoria at checkout. Or anytime you get games, like free demos and stuff, and Epic has free games every Thursday. So you, if you guys like to get a game because of me, you can do that too. If you want. Alright, not bad shape. Now we're going to Box Trot 2. This area looks bad. We're going to try to. Um, yeah, I was saying areas like that that are in a storm might have a higher anchor tier, so we'll hit that up. Our engine smoking right now. That may cause something like fuel to uh, burn less efficiently or something. Alright, I think we could try to wait till this big ass storm blows out of here. The big O. The storm looks like it's moving slowly to the northeast? Question mark? Let's see. to tell if it's moving at all. Well, anyway, there's two anchor plugs up there, and then we can just leave to the east. Alright, before we do that, let's fuel up. You wish fixing engines was that easy? Yeah, dude, all you gotta do is pull out a wrench, just go tap, tap, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't, you don't turn anything, you just tap, it's a magic wand, just tap, tap. You're like, oh.
All right, let's see if we can make it. Oh, the door's open. We did want to at least uh, refuel. We did that. What kind of a storm are we getting into here? That'll buff out. Oh, the wind's blowing the car all over. It's hard to steer. Yeah, don't make sure you don't clip that, cause uh, oh boy, the others might put me in their game, and I don't want to. I don't want that to happen. Wink. All that'll just buff out. That's it. That's all we gotta worry about. That's the only two. Ooh, okay. Try to stop at the gas station. Okay, well, good news. We're out of the big old, uh, big old windstorm now. Okay. 
I've never seen one of these before. Looks like a rest stop building. Oh, it's a gas station. But is this the gas station? At the rest stop? That's cool. style headlight sure yo Chris thanks for the five gifted memberships for chat a more lead good he's tapping out all right gift bomb emotes Only a little bit of fuel left in this pump. Oh, more than enough to fill all that up. Goblin Actual is going in. We got a drop pod. Let me mark that on the map. Then a field two. Fuel tank. Lots of cosmetics. Ooh. I'm gonna sort this crap out later. Let's go. Go this straight out. Loot goblin emote. I'd give that like a A. That would have been an S tier if we had some sort of a roof attachment like um, a radar. A anything for the roof really would have been an A tier. Uh, S tier. Good. 
Hard to track. Uh, steel panel, meh. Spare tire, meh. that out in the next zone. I don't really want this, but I'm just curious to see what the steel panel is. If it's a special design or something. Just out of curiosity. Then we'll repair it. through the forest. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we have a little bit of time. in the first zone in the game all good that's good enough for now let's get out of here this next area might be peaceful <sighs> Levi thanks for the uh, five appreciate that Is it easier with a controller I think so yeah And then that way you don't have to memorize all the keys. Cool game, dude. Thanks, dude, for another two. Appreciate it. All right, we're out of here. We're going through the wall. We're getting to this red zone. Apparently this area is peaceful, so we can stay here all the time. And I hope it's more marshes or something. Actually, it's probably not. This porch. Ooh, this is a actual facility. Actually, like a base here. All right, let's proceed slow. Head on a swivel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you know, I, I I remember red metal like it was yesterday. You up to your eyeballs and paperwork? Francis coated in chalk dust from the black boys. You mistaking my lab notes for a trash pile and throwing away weeks of work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to see it again. They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. Well, we'll see.
ever regret all this? From the very second I heard your voice coming through my speakers. <laughs> I, I mean, everything that happened, handing over Lim, the way the project ended, it, it cost you Alan, you know, your career, the entire damn Olympic Peninsula, which is still here. So are you. You chose your urban legends over everything else. And you wonder if I regret it. Oh, I have no interest in regret. I want to know if you ever felt that leaving was a real option. After everything I've seen and heard and felt here? No, not a chance. Then we have that in common. Wow. It's a big ass door. Yeah, I don't really think you could bulldoze a place like this. So each one of those squares is a support beam. So this is a massive like square. This is basically like a giant Costco. But yeah, it's raining inside, so the roof came off. Francis. He's, um, he hasn't left the bedroom. I'm sorry. You didn't know about his demotion. It wasn't my secret to tell. It's fine. This is between him and me. All right, let's get that corrupt energy. Unstable. Levi with another five. Yeah, this game's 26 bucks. It came out uh, just last week. So it's a fresh new release. I think it's actually been out less than a week. Good food. Levi with another two hashtag noise. Thank you, dude, for all the support. Let's hit up these anchors first. These are the things we need the most. Well, I guess we know why they call it Red Meadow. All this red grass everywhere. Yeah, 26 bucks. Yeah, Valheim was like that too, exactly. Yeah, Valheim and... Yeah, it does have a little Seven Days to Die look to it, doesn't it, this game? A little bit. Especially when you walk around all the houses. Alright, so... Alright, 
Alright, the other two are just down in the corner, kind of next to each other. And then we've got a barn and a facility. I guess I'll hit that tower because we'll be parked in all three. That's going to be to our right. Yep. something about what their lab was doing. Uh, if there was anything useful to be found, I'd have sussed it out already. Well, that's all I did after the accident. Try and fail to find any answers. Yeah, I don't know where the free candy is yet. <laughs> I haven't found that yet. We'll find it. Tree candy. It's got to be on a tree. We'll stumble upon it. got uh, plasma out back too. Levi with another five. Too bad it looked like you couldn't warp back to the previous area unless the full version is different. Um, there may be a perk to go back to like one zone before but I, I don't think so. What was that noise? Follow me around. Or not. A little pest coming after me. All right, one more to get. I see it. Oh, 
Oh, free repairs. Glad we came here. Popped up hair? That's got to be like a uh, Bugs Bunny cartoon reference. One of the titles. Let's go exploring. Go exploring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Friendly bunny is dead. Yeah, it seems like they recharged the car. How oh, sweet. Hell yeah, landed it. Yeah, we're getting a car wash. Not going that way. Snap compressor. Well, 
Well, I don't like this wind. It could blow this stuff around. I don't want to get the vacuum. Man, those things seem super rare. All right, the little glowing um, like a lamp, like a red lamp. Okay, let's we'll see if we can find more of those. There's a barn to our left. Just the silo. Twisted Ember. I didn't know that was a thing. What is that for? Twisted Ember. There. Liquid carbon flows like sap through many of the torched or petrified trees. Ah! I wonder if tree candy and uh, sap are related. Did I break my back?
We have a tier one, uh, tier one crafting bench. Okay, we have a vacuum. Here, what? Item insecure risk of loss. There we go. So it looks like a lot of stuff in area two requires the vacuum. So this is what this tree looks like. Oh, I dropped it right there too. Oh, I have one. Where'd it go? Okay, so we're looking for a glowing stump. Okay. Now I know what we're looking for. So I just discovered red crystals for tree sap and little burning trees for embers or candy. Looks like one. Yep. Hey, now I know what we're looking for. That's going to make life easier. The thunder. Hello. wander around for a little bit, see if we can find more crystals and more trees. There's another one. is crazy. Need a pry bar. I bet you're right.
There's an auto sword button for PC, but it's not listed in the UI. The default key is F. Oh, really? Uh, that seems to pick up stuff. There's rearranged, but I don't see it. Obviously. I don't know. I don't know if it just did it or what. Oh, yeah, it did Y. More tree candy. He ain't going nowhere. Raining again. Farm silo, eh, those are kind of eh. Are two of the wheels broken? Uh, could be. Take a look. Make a ceiling kit. Boom. Boom. Well, let's test out the auto sort. Oh my god, there is an auto sort. Wow, why the hell would they not put that at the bottom of the screen? All you gotta do is press Y on keyboard and there's an actual auto. Oh my god. I didn't even go to like the, the options menu to look for that. All right, I think we went to. I know we went to two of those towers. That was that one and that one. I don't think we went to that one. Though. Also, I don't really care about what's in the towers. I want. I want that tree sap now. And the tree candy.
It'll be more towards the end of the zone. Uh, can y'all please tell me where to find bombs? Yes. If you go to your TV and download Bi uh, Disney Plus, download any of the movies from them in the last five years. An entire arsenal for you. Mandalorian was cool, but that's not a movie, that's a series. Oh, that looks promising over there. I'm going over there next. Oh, you know, you all know I don't mean Marvel movies. Did you all see what they did to Star Wars? Well, this is a nice. Get out of here real quick. Oh, that's a light to get in here. Okay. Or rather to get out. Wow, is that all true? Wow! Three uh, sap collectors right there. Just boom, boom, boom. And an extra boom. And one over there, too. Wow. wow, there's four of them. Holy crap. Yeah, you better bring a vacuum, too, because finding each and every one of those things is a pain in the ass. Yeah, the upgraded engine we have now is 42 sap. We got lucky on that one. Now we can use this for... We're going to do something with it, I forgot. Glad we found four of these, though. That was great. Four. There could be four. That's a big find. That's a big, big haul.
All right. Let's keep driving around. Obviously, it's quite profitable for us to uh, drive around. Is this like a huge deposit of those trees? So it does look like tree candy eventually becomes uh, thermo sap, it looks like. Like they're using those collectors to gather that from the trees. All right, let's go to the tower and then, well, I don't know, maybe we'll make, we'll make a pass around the perimeter. We're getting a little low on fuel, but we do have, we got some fuel, we're good. We got some extra gas. make an omelet. Upgraded storage was a good idea. Yeah, things indeed are looking more advanced now. barrel there. Come on. 
Uh, the game wants me to build a detailing station, but I don't see it in my crafting. Um, you have to go to the computer where you spend your stable points. You know, that whole tech tree. And you have to unlock it there. And then the little thing that comes out of the pneumatic tube, you should get like a... You should get like a big old thing in a pneumatic tube that you can carry around. And then if you have it in your hands, it'll show you where to build it. This is next to where you park the car in the garage. Yeah, you can get a roof fuel tank. That is a thing. But I have not seen a roof battery. There's also roof storage. A radar, a shield, a couple other things. Alright, we're doing one last loop to look for any sort of uh, high value stuff. Because we could stay here for an unlimited amount of time, so thus we may as well do that. We're not under pressure to like me. Oh, that's true, yeah. If we had the resource radar, it would show us where all that new stuff is by now. Good point. Uh, we were going to make the resource radar as well, but we ran out of, like, unstable points. But now, now we can use it. I mean, you know, here's okay, because we can take all the time we want. But when we're under pressure and, like, the zone is closing, that's, that, then we got to go. to find things with the damn headlights off. Now let's go northwest. Yeah, we're just looking for a particular glow of red. I'm pretty sure we got it all, though. I mean... We had some pretty good finds right at the end. Go 
back in the wall. There we Alright, we're good. We're leaving. We're out of here. Radio? Okay. Yeah, Jim. access records were coded to the lab that used to be here. I'm feeling less optimistic by the second. Not a scour this place clean. Uh, something's here. We just can't see it. Oh, following a hunch. <laughs> Not your usual MO, Oppie. No, but being suspicious of Arda is. Dr. K's lab. on Twitch too, yep. YouTube and Twitch, yep. Exclamation point Twitch on YouTube if you want to watch both. Now this looks suspicious. We're going to need flares. Just a dead end.
Skull and Bones. Oh, you should check out my last uh, YouTube streams on that one. We're going to go over it and do a little breakdown. A whole thoughts video on the channel. Locked in on the channel. fuel. Love the shooting star ornament. Reading rainbow. The more you know. Okay, so they kind of say I should go this way. still has something to hide. <laughs> We're definitely onto something now. Driver, anything you find down there, scan and transmit it back to us. We'll work on disengaging the security protocol. Love you. How's it raining in the tunnel? Oh, I don't know. Could have just been a pipe burst or something. We may have to make a drastic escape from here, so we're just going to prep the car for escape. Always be ready.
Okay. Oh, this is the thing. Okay, here's something. This thing in the deep zone, they called it the well. Oh, fantastic. Tobias, run those reports through the decryptor and see what you can find. The well. What the hell? I thought we were outside. origin story, if you will. So let me guess. You're about to ruin a good urban legend with a bunch of science. <laughs> Fine. I'll read this one myself. Nice work, driver. We'll review these and summarize our findings after. Tell me about the remnant, please. I want to learn. kind of far away but whatever escape from what well whatever might happen I'm on foot looking for lore now convey something you can admire the doctor's newfound art skills all you want you won't find anything useful in them these zappers this is a decrypted record of the accident Poppy, are you sure you want to hear this? It's got details about Helen's final moments. It's been over 30 years. I'm past ready. Go on, driver. Keep snooping and see what else you can find. Come on, I want to hear... I want to hear, too. Cars over here. Security breach. Oh, there's something.
corpse. Maybe my late husband sent us something useful from the grave after all. And you're all clear. Give us a moment, we'll let you know what we found in all this data. You can make your way back to the auto shop after you're done scouring the place. And driver? Thank you. You're welcome, ma'am. Not all heroes wear capes. Fine, I could go get more plasma, but I don't know. I think we're good on that. I just want to go home. Of this building. Hence all the water. There we go. That's all that was left and there was some plasma, but I don't want to fight no shock towers. Nice to see everybody working together again. They're not like being all shady. You want me to go there? The artist site. Oh god. I think we need to go there to go find a portal to get out, and then we're going home. Why is the game going for a horror vibe? Yeah, more creepy, but yeah. It just, it fits. Lots of samples there. Drive out, you hit the jackpot. We've got a lead on what you're heading toward in the deep zone. Tobias, give us the rundown about the well. Ought to classify it as a hot spot of ultra high energy gamma radiation. Its eruptions were spontaneous and ultimately Otto made no conclusion about what caused it, when it would blow, or how destructive it would be. Otto, of course wanted to control this bottomless well of energy. So they brought in Dr. K and Alan to research activation and containment. They discovered a way to reliably trigger the well, and that was the remnants. And that's what the remnants have been leading people towards. The well. Keep talking. This second report's a good one. Ready to hear where the remnants came from? The original remnants were created in Dr. K's lab. They aimed to create a trigger for activating the well. By infusing objects with a carefully calibrated limb wave, the ones that share a resonant frequency would... Yeah, yeah, just get to the good stuff. 
You know, you'd be a much better ghost hunter if it weren't for that unfortunate attention span. Reading this makes it obvious how the remnants ended up in the wild. Wait, wait, what, 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 how? The gamma ray surge that caused the mass hallucination event. That energy irradiated everything within a 10 mile radius. Objects with the right characteristics absorbed that energy and became the remnants people found out in the zone. Wow. Francis would get a kick out of that one. <laughs> uh, I'll tell him later. I've reviewed Dr. K's lab notes. Now we know what he was doing in that lab after the accident. Spinning in circles for years. His injuries were real. Dr. K's radiation exposure should have been fatal. And the minute he could stand on his feet again, Otta shuttled him right back to his lab and bid the monkey to dance. They allowed him to carry on in the hopes that he would reproduce anything useful. He worked for two whole years before they quietly retired him from his post. I'm sorry, we scrambled your brain. Here's your pension. Bye. Pretty much. You've got that accident record ready, Tobias? It's time. Okay, then. September 14, 1961. Otter's finalized report on what happened that night. Dr. K and Allen were testing the activation potential of lab-created remnants. That night was a run-of-the-mill remnant test, nothing out of the ordinary. The remnant in question was a tungsten cube. At 3.23 a.m., the cube was brought towards the well, and the well reacted at nominal levels. However, at the 500-meter distance, the cube was sucked into the well and triggered the gamma-ray surge. The energy output continued ramping up, and at 15 seconds, showed no signs of stopping. Then, a Alan... Go on. I can handle it. Dr. K testified that Alan engaged the suppression protocol, then the kill switch, both of which failed. Dr. K ordered Alan to get to safety, but Alan... Alan insisted on staying at the controls. Only when he flipped the radiation polarity did the energy output plateau mm -hmm. and collapse back into itself. Ellen's gamma radiation exposure was fatal due to his proximity to the well. If it weren't for him, the entire zone might have gone under. That's who Alan was. Loyal until the very end. I'm sorry, Oppie. I'd expect nothing less from him. Okay. So he was killed in like a nuclear explosion. Once that car gets to the well, we can expect another gamma ray eruption. We'll need a way to cut it off. And I may have found the answer in Alan's lab notes. His work on that suppression technique is... was... top notch. What's interesting is Dr. K and Alan didn't know any more than we do now. They had no conclusions about what the well is. But or what the remnants did, or how they interacted with this well. Maybe they're ladles that will scoop out a metered amount of gamma radiation. Maybe they trigger an eruption that we can't stop and will destroy the zone if we get it too close. That's a hell of a range. What are we going to do? We keep going. Uh, but if it's an eruption... I already sacrificed the Olympic Peninsula once for limit tech. How many chances for total and utter fallout does a gal get in her life, huh? <laughs> in another life, we would have made a fantastic team. In no universe would I not have murdered you in your sleep. <laughs> Alright, we're start starting to finally get some answers.
will swing around. Oh, dealing with water again. That means we're going to have swamp coral here. Or is it water? It looks like water. samples from this. Okay. Now there's one more. Go to that lab. And we're going home. Yeah, we're going to the well, well, well. Oh, shit. Okay, good thing. I don't think I hit that thing. Those puddles are mean. If you get some more sap, that'd be great. Kind of getting low on car health, and I don't know if anything crazy is going to happen, so I'm just doing minimal looting and scooting. torch or something uh, no but no plenty of good stuff looting a little bit of food Just walk it off. I have no idea what that's for. That's a car hit with the battery, too. All 
car is in bad shape. getting rough. That was getting real rough. We were in super, super deep. We went to so many points twice. We had to scout out that area, return, go again, go into the lower area, then go one further area into the dangerous area. Lost the damn driver door, which is fine. Now we go into the deep zone. Easy peasy. Except for the issue of the old wall. Right, yeah. That. Uh, you got some genius idea up your sleeve, huh? Oh, we lost is that the how you think it works? This is relatively good shape, considering. Genius, it will. Well, yeah. Do you? Oh, well, in this case, I wow. do. But don't expect it to work like that every time. Driver, the quarantine checkpoints will be the best way through the old wall, but they're death traps in their own right. But I designed something to help. Check out the blueprints I sent over. People are getting uh, armed by high radiation. A new blueprint for a limb shield. Ooh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, well, okay, we needed that. Oh, good. We'll put the that old on. anomalies took up residence in the crossing points. It's not enough to have a shield. The shield itself needs to be shielded. The energy drain on that shield is massive. It won't last you more than five seconds. Yes, and? You'll need to recharge on the go, but the Deep Zone's grid is completely dark. You know, what if we could reroute our power into the Deep Zone? But we'd need to jumpstart the network somehow. That car is basically the world's most overpowered electromagnet on wheels. The driver induces a current, then you open the electrical floodgates. They'd have to induce the current the entire way through the old wall while making the crossing and maintaining speed. Oh, wow. I don't know what to tell you. If you don't believe the driver and that car's got what it takes by now, then go back to hunting ghosts. We've got a job to do here. This could work. This is it. Are you in, Francis? I, I, I don't know. Look, we have a real chance of losing everything at the old wall. I'd like to not fail this far along. How can we know this will work? We don't. That's how science works. We form a theory, and we test it, and we fail, and fail, and fail, and only sometimes do we succeed. Come on, Francis. Please? Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> All right. The team is assembled. Driver, get on with building that limb shield. We'll work on spinning up the power grid in the meantime. Amen. All right. Well, we're going to build that limb shield and go into the dark zone, the deep zone, and possibly see the end game next time. But there is some Manor Lord news, and I'm going to be sharing that with you all, a highly anticipated game on the channel, just like this was before its release. We're going to take a look at um, Manor Lord's new stuff uh, today. So we're going to live redirect you all over to that video, and we'll come on back for some more uh, big O streams on the channel. Uh, we're going to definitely be powering through this game because it just keeps getting better each and every stream. Uh, so we're close to the end game. We're close to knowing how it ends. We're close to getting some of the best stuff in the game. And we're close to having, uh, I guess, some, some of the best items too. And yeah, so hope to see you all in uh, our live stream. Going uh, live now for Manor Lords. Going to drop a link for that one right there for everybody. Enjoy. There's your link, everybody. Enjoy, enjoy. And I'll see you all in that uh, live YouTube premiere right now. You can click or tap that link and get over there right now. And then we'll be back for more Pacific Drive ASAP. The end game begins. So don't forget to click or tap that like button. Subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Thanks for all your memberships. 
Don't forget to uh, drop off your Twitch Prime sub over on Twitch if you want to, exclamation point Twitch. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, subscribing, hanging out, and we'll be back for more Pacific Drive tomorrow. It'll be awesome. I'll figure out what we're going to do in the in-between, and then more Sons of the Forest tonight, more survival, more fun, more cool stuff coming up. So click or tap those links. Don't miss out. I'll see you all in a bit.